Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kyger1324. <coughs> Up here today, I'm playing some more Star Wars Battlefront 2. Um, the game for pre-order comes out tomorrow if you pre-order the game. If not, it comes out on um, Friday, I believe. If not Thursday, sorry. Um, if you have EA access, you can get a 10-hour trial of the game. The full game, just get to play it for 10 hours. Um, the... 10 hours carries on when you play the game so if you're not playing it you don't waste any of your hours which is really cool so I recommend EA Access if you don't have it it's only $3.99 a month or £20 for a year it's worth it to uh, try out some of the trials as well um, it's good for people that maybe are in two minds about this game if you're wondering what we're doing we're going to play some of the campaign here um, I'm not going to do a, a playthrough of the campaign it's going to be one video for now So, we're going to do the one campaign for now, um, well, video. So, it's going to be, because um, I want to get this played, I want to do this campaign, and then we can start Knights of the Old Republic. Knights of the Old Republic will be our next playthrough, so let's get started. Um, so here we go, so if you're wondering what the story is basically about, um, you play as a elite stormtrooper known as Eden Avreso, um, and you basically play the Battle of Endor at the end of the Return of the Jedi, so basically it's the link between Episode 6 and 7, um, which is really cool that it's, this campaign is unique to this game, there's not another game that's got a campaign like it. I'm going to quiet and listen to this now. Here we go, my boys. Captain, she's highly trained. Deception, infiltration, extraction. She's special forces. There we go. Been captured. Oh, the graphics are pretty good. Hide in Versio. Um, they'd look amazing in 4K on an Xbox One X. So, um, but even 1080p, they look pretty nice. Commander Versio. You must be important. I love it. Look at me. Oh my girl. So let's talk facts. That's what I'm here for. You have the activation code. I've got the ability to help you out. Fucking rebel scam. Just give me the code. <coughs> you know we can really use someone like you. Just help me and I'll help you. It's that easy. I'm gonna get what I want eventually. My best technicians are slicing into your droid right now. Take on my offer. All I want is the code. The Empire's time has come. You don't have to go down with it. You're right. The Empire's time has come. Easy. Six, two, six. Here we go, boys. Six, two, six. What have we here? An ID-10 tactical droid. Your wing were advanced in the ID-9. Oh, right Slicing into you is not going to be easy. Might I suggest a less invasive procedure? Wish I could, but we don't have the droid's access code. Might I suggest finding the access code? The captain's working on that in the detention center. Pretty, um, really impressive graphics, though. It's data is to pry the memory core out of its shell. Analysis shows this ID-10 has been modified with an electroshock problem. Which can't do anything if the droid is the Get fucking shot. Ah, so now we're a little fucking droid. That's a joke. Ah, this is awesome. Execute the plan. Download the ship's schematics from their computers. 
then come find me. What do we got? Attention crew, we have an enemy droid on the loose. Send reinforcements immediately. Slice him. It's pretty cool actually, um, how they start the game like this. So um, I finished um, Call of Duty World War, um, World War 2 last night and I've got to say guys um, I was very impressed with the campaign um, it was a little bit more linear than the last Call of Duty but to be honest I like it um, I thought it was one of the best Call of Duties I've played in a long time the campaign was fantastic and the ending, I don't want to ruin it for you, but it's very well done. Motherfucker got shot. There are too many rebels outside my cell. Find another way. Going up here. Here we go, boys. So yeah, um, I'm glad I finished that game off. Um, I'm glad I started this trial because at least, but, but, how? At least it meant that I can actually um, play the game today. I played some last night as well. Um, I just did the arcade mission last night. So I thought I'd do a campaign gameplay today. So then we can start... Um, so we can start the um, Knights of the Old Republic on our next videos. So I'm looking forward to playing Knights of the Old Republic again. A um, bit of a Star Wars uh, theme going on. But like I said guys, um, we've got plenty of games coming. Well, where have I got a slice? That thing there. Deactivate the security lockdown, then come to me. Where? Android, proceed as planned. Access their terminal. Oh, that thing? Okay. So, um, like I said, guys, I'm. Um, I've been looking forward to this game for a while. Um, it's definitely. From what I've played so far, it definitely hasn't disappointed and I'm, I've been really looking forward to the campaign really because as you know me, I love my um, single player games um, and it's, it's weird to think that <coughs> the original Star Wars Battlefront Hill Let's go. We'll figure out what to do with you. So until then, just sit oh, I got fucking little like 
Hey mate, guess what? My boy! Like I said guys, I'm, I'm so glad this um... Game! I'm so glad this game has a campaign. And I'm so glad um, that... Like I said, I, I love my solo games and... Uh, like I was trying to say, is that... The original Star Wars Battlefront 2, the campaign was basically... What happens between episode 3 and 4. And it's, it's ironic how this game's doing a similar thing between episode 6 and 7. So I, I don't want to, I don't know, I don't want to spoil anything. They have no idea what's waiting for them at Endor. We need to keep it that way. If the Rebels decrypt that transmission before I delete it, everything will fall apart. Ba 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 ma'am. Motherfucker, there. Don't know what's gonna happen. Get fucking knocked out, boy. Look at that, guys. Uh, for a Star Wars game, you can't really. You can't really go wrong, really. I mean, it's nice that they went with uh, the Empire. Um, they went with the Empire uh, instead of doing the Rebels, because they could have easily... You know, they could have easily... Um, gone with a, a Rebel campaign and made it, you know... <coughs> made it as the good guys and stuff, but it's... So interesting to see that we, we, we didn't get that this year. We got something something that's just, you know, completely original. You're playing as technically the bad guys and And I I love as you know me, I prefer the Empire to the Rebels. I, I think there's no There's no denying what I am. Beginning preparations. Let's get it done. That's pretty cool, you can change your weapon. So is the Corvus. Let's go. Bada bam boom 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 bada. Like I said guys, just um you can play in first person. And you can play in third person, even in the campaign, which is great. So, you know, you, you've got the best of both worlds again. Um, I think, overall, this game is just going to be a much better um, game than it was last time. The, the last one was sort of lacking. And we didn't have a complete um, game. We... we we were a bit cheated out, and not to say that the, the other Star Wars Battlefront were bad. It weren't bad, it was just not <coughs> as good as it should have been. With a, a name, when you take the name Star Wars Battlefront, it's like... It's like you're taking something that is really loved by a lot of people. And you're, you're getting something that, you know, you, you've been given the right to make a game that a lot of people grew up playing um, you know a lot of Star Wars fans love and you know okay these games aren't you know remakes or continuations of the last game these are um, their own game and you know it's like that's pretty cool you can close doors and stuff um, 
it, it, it is its own sort of game and you know this one has nothing to do with the other game and okay this it, it's got some similar features but overall we've got a much better um, game here and I think more and more people will appreciate what this game has done and I think one of the best parts about this game is that it's not going to have any um, paid DLC it's got yeah it's going to have like microtransactions but then again guys what game doesn't these days every game has microtransactions uh, whether you like it or not I personally don't really like it I wouldn't I don't go out and pay for microtransactions unless it's a game that I really really play and need it but you know I've paid for the game I don't need to buy I don't need to buy anything else I'll just play it and you know get everything how I'm gonna get everything so fucking get wrecked son and um, like I said it's so nice we're gonna have a new character in the Star Wars universe that people will um, learn to love. Um, she's a pretty badass character, if you ask me. You know, elite stormtrooper. You know, and um, in the campaign, she's different to multiplayer. In the multiplayer and stuff, she's uh, um, a hero character, so obviously she's got abilities and stuff. Um, and I really, really do think that we've got something here that. It's going to go down in, 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 in history as being a, a really good Star Wars game. I think people just need to give it a, a, give it a try at least. I, I recommend if you're in two minds about getting this game, um, just get EA Access even if you pay 3 99 and you don't want to renew it, then just try it out. Play for about 10 hours. Just give each thing a go, mate, and then decide whether you want to get the full game there and then. I mean... It's up to you, really. I mean, I'm not forcing people to go and get this game. You know, I, I wouldn't tell people to go and get a game. You know, you can get what you want, really. If it's your money, you know, spend it on what you want to get and... Get fucked. So, um... But I, I think we've got um, a pretty solid game here. And a game that um, I'm definitely going to put some more time into uh, when I get a chance to, obviously. Um, <coughs> I think we're going to just uh, spend a lot of time. Here we go. I like that. We escaped. Commander on deck. At ease. Mission accomplished, Commander. And zero casualties. Looks like you're <sighs> second in command. Right. Lovely. I can wait. Agent Miko. Those jump calculations were perfect. Thank you, ma'am. Hope the landing wasn't too rough. Been through worse. Remember the Jabez incursion? Still haunts my dreams. Contact the Admiral. Who said Jar Jar then? And the message? The fleet's location is still safe. Today, the rebellion dies. <coughs> nice way to start the game.
as you can see now where this is where basically episode 6 ends you know the Battle of Endor you know and it, you gotta think right in Star Wars universe right the end the game the movie ends they're you know they're celebrating and stuff but in reality the Empire is gonna have a but plan B, you know, the Emperor is a very well planned guy, you know, he plans for everything. There's no way to repair or reactivate. Then our battle station is vulnerable. Eliminate the rebels and return to the Corvus. The Emperor's plan must not fail. Yes, sir. Agent Hask with me. Agent Miko, cover up. Just here. fucking amazing, I love it. Look at that, it's so well done, like the graphics are so well done. I think I think you can't ask for a, a better, you know. <coughs> Fucking rebel scum! Slicer. Open this crate. Wait, what am I stuck on? Oh, what? Okay, so you can get um. So you can get um, cards and weapons in your uh, campaign, which is really cool. So you know you get the um, you get the campaign, you get the get fought. Now oh, what am I getting hit by? Fucking rebels, damn it! So you get like um again the star cards and <coughs> in the campaign as well, so and you can change them around and stuff, which is pretty cool. Which um again I'd expect, you know. It's over. Bunker is secure. Oh, we going on a new gun now. A sniper here. Let's move out. I love um again look it's so well like the graphics are really cool. The sort of burnt ashes of um Endor. Show me threat. Fucking get wrecked. I'm not a big fan of using the sniper class in multiplayer. Go get him, Joyd. Oh, wow. Fucking get fucking shot in the head. Open that up. Oh, it's collectible. Scan ahead. Oh, bum, wow, wow. Um, it would be interesting if they add more single player DLC. I highly doubt they will. Not many games do that these days. They're, they're probably focused on multiplayer. Um, probably focus on the multiplayer, the DLC. And like I said, it's all free, which is really good. Um, People are complaining about this game and saying, "Oh, you got to spend money to unlock characters or whatever." I mean, I don't, I don't really care to be honest. I'm just going to play the game and enjoy it. Just enjoy it for what it is, you know. Don't, don't complain about something. Just fucking play the game. If you don't want to play it, don't buy it. You know, that's what pisses me off about people these days. Is they complain about games that they don't even want you know and it's like if you don't want the game don't buy it you know no one's forcing you to go out and buy a game these days just if you like it if you want a game just pick it up and get it if you don't want it then don't buy it big jump to Mirko there we go that sniper is pretty cool. Clear. Okay, those can't be all of them. Those rebel commanders must have already moved on. We should too. We're near platform four. Is there a shuttle there? No, TIE fighters only. Even better. 
We should move carefully. We don't know how many rebels are out here. No, no, we'll deal with them the same as the rest. Today we wipe out that scum once and for all. Look alive, agents. We can grieve later. Right now, we need to move. On you, Commander. We need to reach Platform 4 and secure those TIE fighters. That's our only way back to the Corvus. Yeah, let's go. Ah, oh, we can get TIE fighters and stuff. Yeah. Agent Hask. So yeah, they, this game does focus on the all of the elements. Yes, Commander. Patching you through. You know, so you're getting, um, you know, the... The whole element of multiplayer is in the campaign. What's the situation? So boots on the ground and... I don't know about tanks, but definitely ships as well. Make it to your ship, Commander. Survive. I will send you the rendezvous coordinates. Yes, sir. We'll contact you when we reach the Corvus. <laughs> reach platform 4. Someone made a mistake. I want to find another supply crate. I want to get rid of this gun. I'm not no, overly keen on um, snipers. The rebels were outnumbered and outgunned. It's simple. The Emperor underestimated the strength of our enemies, and we paid the price. Commander, permission to speak freely. Granted. I know we're a heads up, Commander. Rebel Unlimited sprint, guys. Gotta love it. Thank you, Agent Nico. We'll take care of them. Visual on the patrol. We just slaughter them where they stand. Rain it in, Agent. You don't fire until. Poke your head up, boy. Apologies, Commander. Call it. Fucking get red. I keep thinking I'm playing Call of Duty and I keep pressing the um, button to slow down time when I snipe. <laughs> but um, I really did enjoy that game, to be honest. The campaign was uh, really good. It was definitely. Um, I love the World War II games in general, and that, that campaign was a uh, great game. If you enjoy World War II games, I recommend it. Oh, here we go. Barrage ready. There we go. So you can get special weapons and things like that. Change my blaster over. Oh. Slice that. Open this up. So you get new abilities. Um, disruptor. Change back to uh, stick with the main wet air blaster. Yes. Why the fuck now, boy? Threat analysis. Stormtrooper there. Stormtrooper! Boom, boom, boom. Oh, ATST up there. Oh, get red. Oh, it got fucked. You know, it would have been better if you you would have been able to fight. Um. It would have been awesome if you could have killed Ewok. That I would have loved that. I love to kill some of them fucking little teddy bear bitches. Last game that you could do that in was um. Um, Force Awake, not Force, the Force um, Unleashed. Fuck you. Force Unleashed um, 2, and it was a DLC. Pretty fun actually, just you could kick them in the air and it was joke. God, I love it. Boom, 
flum. Oh, they're fucking storm troopers. I thought they were fucking reaper um, rebels. Over. Oh, I said reaper. I'm not playing over what. Oh, you fucker! Let's go. Gotta keep going. We're expecting special forces. Hey, that rocket launcher. And that's the point, Sergeant. All the same, we're in your debt, Commander. We weren't expecting special forces. Commander, I'm hearing reports of enemy transports landing across Endor. I'll probably just do this mission and then I'll uh, end the video there. Like I said, I didn't want to do too long video today. I just wanted to show off the campaign so you guys can get a bit of an idea about what the campaign is going to be like. <coughs> and I've got to say, um, I'm very impressed so far. Be ready, Agent Task. I like the fact that you can, uh, again, it's quite open-ended, and the fact that you can uh, use stealth. Fuck's sake. Guess what, boy? Rocket launcher! Full back. Oh, fuck. Fuck, I'm dead. I'm gonna die. You can't fucking roll like you can in multiplayer. Yeah, I don't think you can roll. That's a bit annoying. Get fucked. Disable now. Say it too. So guys, let me know in the comments below, have you got this game, are you getting this game, um, have you played through, um, <coughs> did you use the free trial, and if so, what did you play, did you play more the multiplayer, or did you focus on the campaign, I did a bit of everything, um, just because I think that's the best way to do it, oh, there's a spider there. Agent Miko, situation report. Commander, Rebels have seized Platform 4. It's going to be a fight to take it back. Looks like you're ready for it. Troopers, we're going to take back that Platform and evacuate this moon. And then we're going to make the Rebellion pay. Yes, Commander. Yeah, let's make the Rebellion pay. Commander, Rebels have seized Well, we've got some new abilities now. Um. There we go, shield. Uh, let's try out. Let's fucking try out the pistol. Oh, oh, no. pistol. For the Empire! Shit, I should have uh, got rid of my shield. I prefer, I should have uh, got the scan back. The scan actually works quite nicely. Fuck, run. Take down the ADST. It's pretty cool though. Gotta fight tanks as well. I like this pistol actually, it's pretty fast.
bomb. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Wait, can it slice into vehicles? Ah, oh, that's sick. It can disable vehicles. Fuck you, eat fucking rocket. Eat shotgun, eat shotgun. Boom! Now it's dead. Let's move out. Ah, oh, okay. So, you, again, if you use a shield, you can't um, shoot. Which is, um... I think for every single thing. I don't I don't know if you can upgrade it to do Disable now. I like this pistol, it's pretty fast rapid fire. Um it's cool that you can use different blasters in the campaign. Um Whereas in, in the, when you're playing as Eden Berto in the multiplayer, she's a set character that has a thing. But then again, you can get star cards again to change them around a little bit. Which I like. Some people don't, but again, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. But... Rebels neutralized. The platform is ours. Get to the lips. Meet me at the top to secure those ties. Yes, ma'am. Let's go. Are we going to go and get any tie fire? Let's go. Here we go. Grenade, 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 grenade. Get fucked. Protect me. <sighs> Fucking get wrecked. Wrecked. <laughs> Bad being there. I like the little barrel. Just fucking shoot him into it. Jump, 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 jump. I don't know if enemies like, regenerate health like in multiplayer or something, but I, don't, I highly doubt it. Are we going to get any TIE Fighter now? If that, <laughs> we are, that's going to be jokes. Because I, I really like the um, space battles in this game. Last time, last game I didn't really do a lot of it, but... Oh shit. I'm right behind you. Where the fuck has he come from? Shotgun. Die! See, the shield's good because you can use your shield, move, a, move up a little bit. Get in the fucking tie fighter, let's go! Yes, mate, here we go! Now we look like fucking a uh, TIE fighter pilot. Well, again, I don't know. I don't know. Here we go. Let's uh, hopefully let's finish this mission off. Right, I'm just trying to get used to the controls again. It's been a while. Last time. Whoa. I never stop believing it. How are we supposed to fight that? Uh, the Empire will change. Just like fucking Rogue One. The first Death Star. 
We adapt or die. Like I said, the flight controls in this game are really good. Quite... Uh, they're not like... Um, realistic flight controls, but then again, for a game like this, you don't really want that. That's more something you find in like a uh, like the old Tie Fighter games on PC. Not many. They've either retreated or been destroyed. What about the Admiral Star Destroyer? The Eviscerator is positioned near the Corvus. It appears to be. Are we? At least Hask isn't alone on the Corvus. We might actually make it out of this alive. I don't know if this is where the Death Star was. We're going for the Death Star, unless I missed it. Oh, I don't know. I think it is, I don't know, I may have missed it. <laughs> I may should have been paying attention. Oh, here we go. Agent Hasp, we're approaching the Corvus. What's the status on the engines? Ion injector systems at 60%. I'm diverting shield power to reignite the engine systems. Commander, fight. Well, let's go. Bombers 2, defend the Corvus. It has no shield power. Oh shit! Like I said, the flight controls are pretty good, but again, it's been a while since I played it, so I'm just getting back used to it. Bombers are making their attack run now. Staying where that thing is. See, it's not hard to to get used to um, the control. Agent Hask, status report. We have the rendezvous coordinates, but the crew needs time to repair the engines. We can make time. Agent Miko, let's take out these bombers. B seventeen bomb. Fuck him, run. Last fucking flying game I played was Infinite Warfare. Well, it's not really a flying game, but you know what I mean. Used uh, was flying. Engines are almost ready, Commander. That I played at least. Fucking get wrecked. See, I like the fact that the campaign does focus on, um, on you know, both flying and uh, on boots on the ground. Because there are a lot of people that prefer the flying Star Wars, and then there's people that prefer the boots on the ground. I'm a little bit of both. I prefer boots on the ground a little bit more. Engines are operational, Commander. Perfect timing. Agent Miko, get to the Corvus. I'm right behind you. Commander Versio. Order your ship to retreat, then join me on the eviscerator. Sir? Classified orders, Commander. I'm well. Yes, Admiral. Inferno Squad, the Admiral and I will rendezvous with you later. Understood, Commander. Where do we go? I think we've got it. Okay, I think we've done it. Here we go, we've done the mission. <coughs> and then we can end the video there. Pretty uh, clean graphics again. That's pretty good. You wish to see me, sir? Approach. The Emperor is dead. No. So what happens now? We retaliate, Commander. The Empire will assault the very foundation of the rebels' pathetic belief in themselves. Tell me, I'm. What is the source of their belief? Hope. Hmm. Correct. This messenger's presence is a great honor, one I choose to share with my daughter. Yeah. 
Admiral Versio. Operation Cinder is to begin at once. Resistance, rebellion, defiance. Oh, okay. These are concepts that cannot be allowed to persist. You are but one of many tools by which these ideas shall be burned away. Heed my messenger. He shall relay you to your target. Operation Cinder is the last command of our Emperor and the first step in securing our future. Oh dear. Inferno is crucial to its success. What's our target? You are not verified. That information can wait. For now. Here are your next assignments. They are unusual. But these are unusual times. Go, Commander. Do what you do best. Uh, so, guys, anyway, um, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like and, of course, comment below. Let me know if you want to see more Star Wars Battlefront 2 in the future. Um, <coughs> and, of course, uh, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and join the family. And, um, Dauntless and of course guys have a nice day and I'll see you